Jamie, thank you so much. Here we go, fifth and final hour of the South Shores Morning News coming to you from Broadcast House in beautiful Marshfield. I'm Rob Hackler. It's a Friday. You hear the music, and that means it's a feel-good Friday with attorney Mark Stiles of Stiles Law in Marshfield. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Rob. We are feeling good, and you know what? Hey, I wait bet, a minute. You sound different. I bet we sound good today, too. Yeah, you do. I notice this. What, what, boy, you really got an upgrade on the phone. <laughs> no well, phone. No phone. You know, I was driving my son into school listening to the greatest morning show on radio anywhere. Oh, wow. And, Thank uh, you very that, much, Mark. And he said, you know, you would sound a lot better in studio. Why don't you go in? And I said, you know what? <laughs> You're right. I've, I've got so used to calling in. Why don't I go in? And, you know, I've heard some folks say the difference between, you know, Zoom audio and real, real audio. It's the difference between the, the hollow Easter bunny and the, the solid Easter oh, bunny. It's yes. really a, a visual difference as well as audible, isn't it? No, it really is. And it's, it's great. To, I mean, I remember initially, you know, over a year ago, we had to do all the guests on phone and Zoom because we had no other choice. We we're in the middle of a pandemic. And so we had everybody divided. And now, thankfully, we're vaccinated and uh, we're able to take our masks off and we're able to have people in the studio again, which is which is great. So, I mean, it means we have to clean up more, Mark. Honestly, <laughs> I got a vacuum, you know, now that we have guests in here. But uh, it's good to see you and to, and to talk to you in person. Yeah, well, it is. But, you know, there's so much positive positive that did come through the COVID era. And those Zoom yeah. meetings are so vastly important now. That's true. I was just on one recently with one of your guests, Peter Foreman of South Shore Chamber of Commerce. Yes. He was, he was hosting a group of us uh, talking about their 2030 plan, uh, specifically about real estate is why I was invited into the, into the workshop, if you will, the discussion. Mm -hmm. But it was on Zoom, and there was another gentleman there. I think he's a sponsor, Paul Sullivan of Sullivan Tire. Oh, yes, yes, he is. Uh, yeah, he works, he works with uh, Jackie downstairs, oh, and great. they have for many years. So, yeah, Jackie and uh, Paul Sullivan uh, have worked together, and, and he's been a longtime sponsor. He's, he's amazing. And, and we were talking, and he said, you know, I really enjoy your show. And this is coming from a legend, <laughs> right? This is an advertising legend. Yeah. This and guy, he says. He's got more than a few shops. Yeah. And he says, I really enjoy your show. And, I, you know, that was my feel-good moment for the week. So I wanted to share that feel-good Friday. It means that, it's you working. Know, it's it feels working. good. It feels yeah. good when somebody recognizes. No, it is It is true. You're right. You know, when you do have somebody that uh, instead of just, you know, how you doing, Mark, you know, hope everything's going well. When they had a little, little bit of uh, insight, um, you know, I was talking to a, a classmate yesterday, for example, and uh, she said, um, you know, oh, I, I would have gotten down if I had more time. I would have saw you. I know you were at the Curtain House in Pembroke. And I said, well, that's really nice because, you know, I mean, it means they're paying attention. They're listening. They're kind of involved, but watching what's going on in your life or listening to the show. And I said, yeah, you know, it's, even though you couldn't make it to the Curtain House, we had a great time down there. So that's I like that, that Paul Sullivan said he loves Feel Good Friday, and we do too. Love it. So, Paul, how are you? Have a great Friday.